So we have our edge detect shader that we're clicking on here and we see the number of different parameters here in the full version and we're just rendering this pretty cool detailed Lambo model. Now if we hit invert, um, that inverts it between uh, white going to black, black going to white and we can see we can play with our gain. I like to bring the gain up quite a lot just so we can see a lot of those uh, edges and then we can play with the contrast but if we leave it at one that's the default and then we can fine-tune our blacks and whites so if we take the blacks up a little bit it kind of similar to what you'd be used in Photoshop or Lightroom and if we bring the whites down a bit uh, same thing as well so those kind of want to be typically between 0 and 1 and uh, again if we once we fine-tuned it we can play with the invert and the steps are the number of steps that the algorithm um, kind of steps through the actual model um, so the default again is one and um, that works fine and our normal type is our shading normal which is NS and we've got a drop down menu that goes through the different ones and that depends on your geometry so we're just going to kick off a real render to get final quality um, and as that renders um, you can just see kind of a better quality depending on your settings uh, so those are uh, just a brief demo of all the cool features for edge detection shader. So go ahead and try that out. And you can push different textures through the edges. Lots of different stuff that uh, you can do there in your renders.